I adore thee, O my God, one God in three persons. I humble myself before thy majesty. Thou alone art being, life, truth, beauty, and goodness. I glorify thee, I praise thee, I thank thee, and I love thee. All incapable and unworthy as I am, in union with thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, our Saviour and our God, in the mercifulness of his heart and through his infinite merits, I wish to serve thee, to please thee, to obey thee and to love thee always, in union with Blessed Mary, the Holy Mother of God, loving also and serving my neighbour for thy sake. Therefore give me thy Holy Spirit to enlighten, correct, and guide me in the way of thy commandments and in all perfection until I come to the happiness of heaven where I shall glorify thee forever. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Blessed Trinity, hear us. Adorable unity, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy upon us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy upon us. God, the Holy Ghost, have mercy upon us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy upon us. Father, from whom are all things, have mercy upon us. Son, through whom are all things, have mercy upon us. Holy Ghost, by whom are all things, have mercy upon us. Holy, undivided Trinity, have mercy upon us. Trinity in unity, passing all understanding, have mercy upon us. Father everlasting, have mercy upon us. Only begotten Son of the Father, have mercy upon us. Spirit proceeding from the Father and the Son, have mercy upon us. Co-eternal majesty of three divine persons, have mercy upon us. Father, the Creator, have mercy upon us. Son, the Redeemer, have mercy upon us. Holy Ghost, the Comforter, have mercy upon us. Be merciful. Spare us, O Holy Trinity. Be merciful. Graciously hear us. O Holy Trinity. From all evil, deliver us, Holy Trinity. From all sin, deliver us, Holy Trinity. From the love of riches, deliver us, Holy Trinity. From pride, deliver us, Holy Trinity. From uncleanness, deliver us, Holy Trinity. From sloth, deliver us, Holy Trinity. From inordinate affections, deliver us, Holy Trinity. From envy and malice, deliver us, Holy Trinity. From anger and impatience, deliver us, Holy Trinity. From everlasting death, deliver us, Holy Trinity. By thy almighty power, deliver us, Holy Trinity. By thy plenteous loving kindness, deliver us, Holy Trinity. By thy goodness and love, deliver us, Holy Trinity. By thy wisdom and long suffering, deliver us, Holy Trinity. By thy unspeakable perfection, 
deliver us, Holy Trinity. We sinners beseech thee to hear us, that we may worship thee in spirit and in truth. We beseech thee to hear us, that we may love thee with all our heart and with all our strength. We beseech thee to hear us, that we may faithfully keep thy commandments. We beseech thee to hear us that we may go from grace to grace and from virtue to virtue. We beseech thee to hear us. That we may finally enjoy the sight of thee in glory. We beseech thee to hear us. That thou wouldest vouchsafe to hear us. We beseech thee to hear us. O blessed Trinity, we beseech thee to save us. O blessed Trinity, we beseech thee to hear us. O blessed Trinity, have mercy upon us. Let us pray. We adore thee, most holy Trinity. We worship thee and thank thee that thou hast revealed to us this glorious mystery. Grant, we beseech thee, that persevering in this faith and loving thee above all things, we may see thee and glorify thee eternally, whom we confess here, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, one God in three persons, blessed for evermore. Amen. Whosoever will be saved, before all things it is necessary that he hold the Catholic faith, which faith except every one do keep whole and undefiled, without doubt he shall perish everlastingly. And the Catholic faith is this, that we worship one God in Trinity, and Trinity in unity, neither confounding the persons, nor dividing the substance. For there is one person of the Father, another of the Son, and another of the Holy Ghost. But the Godhead of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost is all one. The glory equal, the majesty co-eternal. Such as the Father is, such is the Son, and such is the Holy Ghost. The Father uncreate, the Son uncreate, and the Holy Ghost uncreate. The Father incomprehensible, the Son incomprehensible, and the Holy Ghost incomprehensible. The Father eternal, the Son eternal, and the Holy Ghost eternal. And yet they are not three eternals, but one eternal. As also there are not three incomprehensibles, nor three uncreated, but one uncreated and one incomprehensible. So likewise the Father is Almighty, the Son Almighty, and the Holy Ghost Almighty. And yet they are not three Almighties, but one Almighty. So the Father is God. The Son is God, and the Holy Ghost is God. And yet they are not three gods, but one God. So likewise the Father is Lord, the Son Lord, and the Holy Ghost Lord. And yet not three lords, but one Lord. For like as we are compelled by the Christian verity, to acknowledge every person by himself to be God and Lord. So are we forbidden by the Catholic religion to say there be three gods or three lords. The Father is made of none, neither created nor begotten. The Son is of the Father alone, not made nor created, but begotten. 
The Holy Ghost is of the Father and of the Son, neither made nor created, nor begotten, but proceeding. So there is one Father, not three fathers, one Son, not three sons, one Holy Ghost, not three Holy Ghosts. And in this Trinity, none is a fore or after other, none is greater or less than another. But the whole three persons are co-eternal together and co-equal, so that in all things, as is aforesaid, the unity in Trinity and the Trinity in unity is to be worshipped. He, therefore, that will be saved, must thus think of the Trinity. Furthermore, it is necessary to everlasting salvation that he also believe rightly the incarnation of our Lord Jesus Christ. For the right faith is that we believe and confess that our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is God and Lamb, God of the substance of the Father, begotten before the worlds, and man of the substance of his mother, born in the world. Perfect God and perfect man, of a reasonable soul and human flesh subsisting, equal to the Father as touching his Godhead, and inferior to the Father as touching his manhood, who, although he be God and man, Yet he is not two, but one Christ. One, not by conversion of the Godhead into flesh, but by taking of the manhood into God. One altogether, not by confusion of substance, but by unity of person. For as the reasonable soul and flesh is one man, so God and man is one Christ who suffered for our salvation, descended into hell, rose again the third day from the dead. He ascended into heaven. He sitteth on the right hand of the Father, God Almighty, from whence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead, at whose coming all men shall rise again with their bodies and shall give account for their own work. And they that have done good shall go into life everlasting. And they that have done evil into everlasting fire. This is the Catholic faith, which except a man believes faithfully, he cannot be saved. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.